For this tutorial, we will be building a pipeline to load the entangling results from Pipeline 1 and allow the user to edit any errors in the entangling prior to straightening the worms for visualization. The user may also flip worms so that they all appear with heads or tails facing up in the straightened view. It is also possible to add measurement modules to this pipeline using modules described in Pipeline 1, so refer to that tutorial for more details. First, start Cell Profiler 2.1, or alternately, save any previously created projects and then clear the pipeline. The pipeline interface consists of the pipeline panel to the left, which is divided into input modules and analysis modules. A space for module notes for annotation and a file list will appear to the right. To provide cell profiler of image files to be analyzed, drag and drop the input image files into the file list space. In this case, we will be using two sets of image data, the raw data, the same input PNG files as for pipeline one, and a segmentation TIFF file mass of overlapping worms, also created in Pipeline 1. The input module metadata enables extraction of metadata information from the image file names and folders. We will be using metadata to match segmentation mass with the corresponding raw data. Click on Metadata in the list of input modules, and the module settings for the metadata module will appear on the right. Check the box Extract Metadata, and a number of options will appear underneath. Select Extract from File slash Folder Names as the extraction method in order to extract the well IDs from the raw data file names using regular expressions. To learn more about regular expressions, click on a question mark next to this option in the module settings. Use the selection rule to select only this metadata from the raw data by specifying that all files must contain .png. Click Add another extraction method and then extract the well IDs from the segmentation TIFF mass file names using regular expressions. Use the selection rule that all files must contain .tiff. Verify your metadata extraction using the Update button below the module settings to ensure that each input image from the images module is associated with a well ID metadata. Next, select the input module, names and types. As we have two types of input, first select Assign a name to images matching a rule. Use the rule that the file name contains .png and assign the name raw data to these files. Set the input image type to color image. Now click the Add Another Image button. For the new input that appears, use the rule that the file name contains .tiff and assign the name worm mass to these files. This time, the image type should be set to objects. In order to pair the proper segmentation mass to the correct raw data set, set image set matching method to metadata. You are now prompted to match images by the metadata of choice. Select well for the dropdowns under the two image names. Verify your metadata matching using the update button below the module settings to ensure that the input images are correctly matched. The groups module is not needed for this assay, so it can be left at its default setting. You should also select a folder for storing your output by clicking on the View Output Settings button in the bottom left of the Cell Profiler interface, and then adjust the default output folder location. In the Analysis Pipeline, add the module Edit Objects Manually with worm mass as input and edited worms as output. Include the raw data as a guiding image to see the correct outlines of the worms. We will take a closer look at the Edit Objects Manually module when running the pipeline. After editing the outlines, we straighten the edited worms by adding the module Straighten Worms, using edited worms as input and default worm model.xml file as the training set file. Select Measure Intensity Distribution and for the Align Worm setting, select Flip Manually. This allows us to flip each worm manually to make sure that all are either heads up or tails up. This could be automated if there is significant difference in stain between the head and the tail, which could be the case if, for example, a fluorescent head marker is available. Select raw data as the image to be straightened and call the output straightened image. Add a save image module for saving the edited worms. Select objects as the type of image to save, edit worms as input. Set the name of the saved objects to the same as the corresponding raw data image with a suffix underscore edited. Make sure the file format is TIFF to handle overlapping objects. Add another save image module for saving a straightened image, selecting image as the type of image to save, straightened image as input, and setting the name of the saved objects to the same as the corresponding raw data image 
with the suffix underscore straightened and PNG as the format. Run the pipeline by clicking Analyze Images in the bottom left corner of the interface. When reaching Edit Objects manually, you can use the magnification tool to zoom in and right-click on an object that you believe should be edited. Control points are shown along the edges of the selected object. These can be pulled to better fit the outlines of the worm. Control points can be added or deleted, and objects can be split or merged using the control points. Click the Show Help button to see all options. Right-click when satisfied with an object. Click Done when the editing is completed. Note that objects may also be removed or added. Next, the edited worms will be aligned by the Straightened Worms module, and you will be asked to flip the worms by clicking on the ones that are oriented the wrong way. Again, click Done when editing is completed. Data will now be saved, and the pipeline will show you the next image in the dataset.